Hi, I'm Sophia. I'm the director of marketing at STEMGucate, and I'm bringing you a new series called STEMGucate Unboxing. Today with me, I have the Creality High Combo 3D Printer. We were lucky enough to get our hands on it before its release, and I will be joined by 3D printer experts to show you what's inside and to compare it to the Bamboo Lab A1 Combo. Without further ado, let's get started. The first 3D printer expert I will be joined by is Milo Andre. He's an expert at Bamboo Lab 3D printers and Creality 3D printers. Hi, um, today we're going to be unboxing the new Creality High Combo. This is most similar to Bamboo's A1 Combo. All right. Hi, this is Mai. Mai has a uh, Bamboo Labs A1. I have a Prusa Mark 3S and a Bamboo Labs P1S Combo. Now let's open this up. This is more of a first reactions video. Yeah, it's well packaged. It's not going anywhere. So first we have the CFS, which is comparable to um, Bamboo Labs' AMS, but more similar to the AMS than the AMS Lite. Here's the CFS. It has a locking sealed lid, which will help keep your filament nice and dry. It also has spots for desiccant packs, just like the AMS does. Uh, one of the modifications a lot of people like to do to their AMS systems is add PTFE tubes so that these en the filament enters the system a lot more smoothly. And Creality has actually already done that for you. They make these plastic attachments here that allow for a smoother transition from the filament roll into the system. Um, and here are the PTFE rolls that go into the actual machine, and then that's what feeds filament into the nozzle. Here's the splitter. This is if you want to use up to four of these systems at a time, you can print 16 colors at once, just like the Bamboo Lab system. However, with Bamboo Labs, you actually have to buy this as a separate accessory. Creality includes this for you. Here we have some cables for the CFS. And then next we have the printer, which I'll show you this now. It has actually an instruction guide on how to unpackage everything that's not buried in the quick start manual. It's actually printed onto the packaging, which is pretty cool. So next we have to take out the foam. Here we have a spool holder. And just in case you don't want to use the CFS, with Bamboo Labs, you have you can't use the CFS in some cases. It, it can struggle with cardboard spools or with TPU especially because it's difficult to get it fed through some uh, this almost Bowden system that we have here. Here's uh, a power cord, I think, and some test filament. PLA, Next we have the quick install guide with a range of accessories. This is something that Bamboo Labs does as well, but I believe unlike Bamboo Labs, they give you a pack of stickers. Yep, Bamboo does not give you stickers, can I confirm. And then here we have the revered Creality cutter, flush cutters. Ooh. Very helpful, especially for a 3D printing beginner. Bamboo does not include those either. We have some, I believe, cleaning filament, though this appears cracked from the packaging, which is unfortunate, it means we probably can't use this. So it turns out this is actually Creality Hyper PLA, not cleaning filament, but this is really frustrating because I can foresee a beginner that this is their first printer, they load this up into the system and uh, the Bamboo AMS and CFS, the way it is, is you're going to have to deal with some jams with these systems. It's just the way that they are in the current state of things at least. And, and with the Bamboo, you take out this whole section to dis disengage the PTFE tubes 
and clear out whatever filament it is. But if this is your first printer, it, it can be really frustrating if you get chunks of this broken filament and you don't have any other filament, you don't know any better, stuck inside your CFS, brand new CFS system. And now you bought this printer for its quick building and easy installation, but you, you just have to take this all apart now to get it to function again. Then we have some tools and some lubrication grease just to help you get started, as well as the screws that we will need and some extra routing guides for the PTFE tubes. I think that goes with the spool holder. Thanks. And then um, similar to the A1, it comes mostly assembled and there we go in some main chunks and then we also have some nice guides here with qr codes um, i believe this is something bamboo has started doing but more so in their software is including a qr code that tells you how to do everything with your printer then we have our direct drive extruder with a um, ceramic hot end this is a dual lead screw or is this I'm not sure if this is belt driven or not for the z-axis no it's belt driven but the, we have dual motor z-axis which will help get rid of some of the z-wobble that has plagued the ender threes of yesteryear the um, filament purge trap here and I'm going to set this down carefully do you want me to just put the box down so yeah. Next, we need to remove the build plate and lower assembly from the box, which the build plate it wants you to remove the build plate separately, so I'll go get some hefty cutters. I do wish Creality would have included a textured sheet that's a little bit more high quality like Bamboo does. This is a lot more similar to the Ender 3 print sheets, but a little bit stiffer. So it will be easy to flex the parts off, though I do worry about the durability of the sheet. You can always buy more and I'm sure with most, as with almost all Creality products, there will be a good aftermarket. Here we have the main base with, you don't even have to attach the screen. Look at that. It's already attached. You just need to swivel it out. Then we have some sections to wipe the nozzle on, a little piece of silicone. I do wonder if this is replaceable. It's replaceable on the bamboo printers. And with the P1S and X1 series, it actually wipes on the sheet, which is good to see that they're now including some more wiping options besides that PTFE springy thing and wiping on the sheet itself. Just foam in here tight. Time to refer to the quick start guide. That was a nice quick build, although the instructions could have been a tiny bit clearer. Now we're going to talk about the differences between this and the A1. So the A1 comes with the AMS Lite, which is essentially a downgraded version of Bamboo's main AMS, which comes with the 
P1 series and the X1 series. So this is a version of the big brother to the AMS Lite, which comes with A1, the AMS. Um, it comes with a couple improvements, mainly these Bowden tubes that we talked about before that will have a smoother transition into the filament tube. Then it also has these nice little buffer things, I would guess you would call it. Um, sometimes with the AMS, if filament is having a hard time feeding filament, the spools will rise up and bounce against this cover, sometimes scratching it up a little bit. So they made this nice and matte so you don't see those scratches if they do occur. And then they also put these um, nice spacers so that they don't doesn't scratch the top. Then additionally, with the AMS, not the AMS light, you can print 16 colors, but this four-way splitter is an optional extra that you have to buy before you buy your other four, your other three um, AMS systems. With this CFS, you only have to buy the three other systems, and that's not something that you can do with A1 because it comes with the AMS light, not the, not the AMS. And then this screen is a lot nicer on the um, on this printer than compared to the A1, just it because has, it folds in both directions. Yeah, it has two degrees of freedom instead of just one, because the A1 you just flip it to the front and then you can flip it to the side. This you can flip it forward, back, and then up and down, so better. Unfortunately, this print sheet is a little bit on the lower quality side, especially when compared to bamboo but that's something that you can likely buy a spare from, from the aftermarket. There's all kinds of accessories, especially for Creality printers that you can buy online. And that's something we'll eat a little bit away at the price difference between this and the A1, but it's okay. I do want to point out something that's a little bit misleading on Creality's website, is they advertise cleaner support material, support removal for intricate models with water soluble filaments. But as you'll notice, it doesn't allow you to use PVA or BVOH or any flexible filaments or cardboard spools for this matter. Um, this is the same as the AMS system, which does not allow you to use any flexible, water soluble or cardboard spools by default. However, they tell you that up front, unlike Creality, who's saying advertising water soluble supports with this system. Another small difference between this and the A1 is this, um hot end cleaner part here you have yeah it's called a poop shoot but you know we're trying to be a little more formal on the a1 i think you have a lever that's like up here and so now this makes it a lot more reliable and uh seems better also if you'll note these nozzle wipers are replaceable um they come with one extra in the box and I believe that's something that you can replace on the A1 as well. Yes, it is. Before we get started with our first power on, I just want to highlight one more difference between this and the A1. Uh, with the A1, you can hot swap or rather cold swap the nozzles without any tools. So you can change the nozzle, do just take the front cover off, flip a lever and you can swap them easily. This has a quick swap nozzle system and the nozzles are cheaper to replace for this, though it is a little bit more involved than the A1. And now Mai's going to explain why we chose this over the A1. Yeah, so we think that this printer in terms of hardware might be slightly better than the A1, although it's a little bit more difficult to put together. So I have an A1 at home. We chose this one for our school because we have people here who know how to assemble 3D printers and so we have the experience necessary for that. And we also wanted to have the AMS, not AMS, this is the CFS, which is better than Bamboo Labs. Additionally, the Creality printers can work without a connection to Wi-Fi, which is important to us because our school Wi-Fi blocks a lot of different services, probably including 3D printing. So this makes it so that we can actually use a 3D printer. All right, now let's get started with our first power on. Sweet 
Does the it won't have a light for the camera? Yeah, it does. Oh. There's a camera here, webcam to monitor your prints from remotely. And it has just like the A1, it has a nice little cover for it. Yep. I don't know how the camera quality compares because we haven't printed anything yet. But we will see. Though I believe with the A1, is it a solid it's a solid plastic cover, right? Yeah, it's a solid plastic cover. This is more of a like a matte clear plastic, so it should blur out the image more than completely block it out. All right, language selection. English. English. Okay. English is ugly. That's a long privacy policy. Yeah, I'm using my screen. Okay, so overall this printer is pretty similar to the A1 uh, in terms of hardware, might be slightly better, and I think it's a little less expensive including the CFS. Uh, thanks for tuning in to the video. Please follow us on Instagram and YouTube. If you want to buy this printer, go to our link in the bio. Thanks for watching.